in each instance after the antibiotics, uh, the doctors came back and said that the infection was no longer there. However, I was still suffering from symptoms. They seemed slightly different than initially, uh, than the initial symptoms, but uh, mm -hmm. still I had some pain and comfort, and that's continued on. I'm wondering, in your opinion, is it possible that, yes, the antibiotics killed whatever infection may have existed, but the end result uh, was a, candy, a systemic candida that is now aggravating uh, my body, that's now mm -hmm. causing the damage that I'm, or the, the symptoms that I'm experiencing. Well, that's actually the, the usual um, kind of protocol that takes place. Uh, uh, an important thing to point out is many times when we have infections, um, because of the infection, we have this release of cytokines through white blood cells, the pro-inflammatory response, which creates these other chain reactions that create healing in the body. But the, the cytokines, that pro-inflammatory response, creates a lot of body aches and pains and soreness and um, even a runny nose. And um, part of that, uh, and, and that's usually what gets suppressed by antibiotics. So people think, oh, I feel better. I don't have those symptoms anymore. Um, so the, the real test is did they, they do a blood test before, because that is the protocol whenever you use antibiotics. You, you culture the specimen, you expose it to antibiotics to see if that particular antibiotic had an effect, and then you give that antibiotic to the patient only if through the culture it demonstrated an effect. Um, and they don't do that. It's, it's never done. They, they look at sheets and say, well, this one, looks, this one has been proven to happen. So it's, you have to really question, am I, am I treating the infection? Am I treating the symptom of the inflammation due to cytokines? But next is, yes, it's, it's the resultant of the antibiotics, the post-antibiotic syndrome, how that plays an effect, the spread of candida. And then you have all these developments down line, which create, can create lifelong problems, as, has, as the research now shows and has shown. Um, even research from 1922 has, has shown that. Um, that it's 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 that effect that most people experience from antibiotic use. So it's a, yeah, it's definitely. I took antibiotics, and this is what I I routinely hear all the time. I took antibiotics. I did sixty days when I was young. I took antibiotics for a year, two years, and now I have these terrible problems. That's that's very common, and it's uh, the way you reverse that process: get rid of the candida, put the good bacteria, balance the ecosystem, the digestive tract, and uh, allow the body to start healing and start the repair process. So it's not always a one-to-one. -one. I, I did a diet, took the products, got rid of the candida, and now my problems are all gone. A lot of things will shift, and this is what people see, but sometimes maybe one thing that they're really focused on is the thing that's going to take longer. It's going to take the healing process of the body. It may take another time through an antibi um, uh, a candida cleanse protocol. Um, it may take ongoing support. Um, but if you restore the natural bacterial flora of the intestinal tract, now you've increased the ability to absorb nutrients that your bodies and cells and tissues need to repair and rebuild. And from antibiotics, you lose, that, you lose the absorption ability. You create inflammatory allergic reactions. Many people start having food allergies, so you eat a lot of foods you can't eat. Um, <clears throat> so it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's best to look at this as a process. And many times that process happens quickly. Uh, sometimes it takes longer, but uh, you want to look to see what else is taking place. Are there changes taking place? Do I feel a little better? Have I seen changes in other areas? Maybe not in the area I'm focused on, but have I seen changes in other areas that in indicate my body's healing? So um, I mean, that's, that's what the McCombs plan is for. Um, that's what we developed it for, um, and you know that's how we uh, use it with uh, my patients and our, our customers who go to the site. I, I like all that I've heard there, and I, and I agree. I think the body just needs time to heal itself, and it's got to get to that point where it, it can start repairing itself. One quick question, just as kind of an add-on to this. Um, the the pro, Introducing probiotics into uh, into the mix in order to, to replenish the body, um, if probiotics themselves are able to survive the, the, the intestinal tract, I mean, when you take them orally in, in pill forms or, or even through yogurt or however you administer the probiotics, are they, are they able to uh, sustain the, 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 the acid found in, in people's stomach? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> one of the 
um, some people, um, one of the questions I think addressed this and another question addressed this was um, that uh, they are able to survive the stomach acid. Some don't, but the research shows that even the ones that didn't still create a positive immune response and a positive effect in the digestive tract. And you have to, and that has a lot to do more with complicated pathways and mechanisms, but the, even the, the dead probiotic, the one that didn't really make it through alive, is still having an effect. And they don't know whether that's because of substances within the probiotic cell that continue to have an effect um, or, or what it is. That, that's still, that's, that has to enter our uh, one percent, you know, the 99 percent that we don't know category. Um, yeah. But um, that they, they have seen that it has a positive effect. Um, there's a lot of <clears throat> what I call kind of jock jockeying for market position where there's a lot of information that's put out like ours survives the stomach acid. Well, you know, most of it does. And research shows that. And even research that they've done, um, even research that's been done over the years has demonstrated, I mean, they don't take substances that are sealed up in a, in a, a, a capsule that survive. I mean, they just put the probiotic in. They're just administering probiotic through these people, through the stomach, and it's, that's what most of the research is based on, and it's having a positive effect. It wasn't like I gave them this capsule that was hemetically sealed and it didn't dissolve till it got to the small intestine. So the research supports that, um, that you know, it does survive, and, and, in the rare, and in the cases when it doesn't, it's still having a positive effect. So you know, it's obviously the more you take, the, the better off, the more likely you're gonna have more benefit. And you should take it ongoingly. Even when you're done with the McCombs plan, you should continue to take probiotics because some are transient and some colonize. Uh, I think one of the questions we had was, I looked at the other day on CureZone, on my uh, blog on CureZone, was that um, someone was mistaken that all the probiotics are transitory. They don't set up in the digestive tract. And that's not true. Some, uh, many of these do colonize. Some colonize, many colonize. But some are just, they're temporary and they, they grow very rapidly, and so they're, they constantly replace themselves. So even though you may lose a bunch, it was replaced by others that grew inside the intestinal tract. But it's good to take ongoing probiotics just to support the intestinal tract and overall health of the body. Are there any, <clears throat> are there any risks with taking too many probiotics? Um, you know, what's been shown is that you can't overdo it. And I know in the medical profession they look at one of the things they look at is bacterial overgrowth, and that bacterial overgrowth is pre is causing a problem. Well, that hasn't been shown to occur with probiotics. That may be bacterial overgrowth because this person was exposed to antibiotics, and now this pathogenic organism, like E. coli, which was normally harm harmless, has been converted to a harmful bacteria, or uh, the yeast form of candida is converted to the fungal pathogenic harmful form of candida. Now you're having an overgrowth problem. But it's, it's, there's, it, that hasn't been documented. There's no scientific research that supports that. It's actually the opposite. You, there's no limit to the amount of probiotics you can take on a daily basis. Okay. Any, any, any foods that you recommend that, that, uh, <clears throat> that contain probiotics that, that, that one could uh, replenish the body with? I know there's all kinds of commercial yogurts out there that claim they have probiotics, but is there... Is, is there anything else <clears throat> or a sauerkraut people were saying? I, I... Yeah, if you're, you know, once you've done the McCombs plan, uh, fermented foods will have uh, natural bacteria, and this is one of the great things about fermented foods. It helps assist the body in digesting the food. Um, kefir, wonderful substance, contains, um, it's kind of more the liquid version of um, yogurt. Many yogurts that are commercial, they, some of the studies show that by the time people consume them, there's no longer really that many viable bacteria present in there. Um, <clears throat> but uh, uh, after the plan, but we don't have fermented foods on the plan while you're doing the McCombs plan because fermentation also creates sugars, and we're not trying to we're trying to limit what candida can grow on. And also, I believe there's some other effects that when you have systemic fungal candida that may not be so beneficial to the body until you've controlled and uh, um, rectified that problem. So, just in part, uh, the last thing I want to say is, uh, so if I take three doses of your, uh, what's it called, Flora Prime? Well, Flora Prime, yeah, that's our probiotic that goes with the plan. Yeah, if I do three instead of the recommended two, uh, the, the only, the, the, it, there's only an upside. You don't see a downside. No, no. Okay. No, there's Thanks, obviously Dr. a little more cost involved by doing a little bit more, but there's uh, definitely, there's no downside to it.